Welcome to Hallelujah Junction. We made it. Hallelujah. We even had to help push. You have to say Hallelujah when you arrive in <laughs> Now, in just a moment, we'll be pulling forward, so hold on to that seat. Those of you seated on the left-hand side of the train, where the engine is now up front, if you take a look down below, it's a great view from above with the burned-out corkscrew trestle. Now, those of you on the right side, you'll see it on the way down. We do a loop around Bear Mountain, turning the train, coming down the same line the opposite direction. So you'll see everything you missed on the way back, as long as you return to the same side of the train you're on now. Now those of you in the back half of the train, it's down on your left, where I'm at now, I'm the mark, and I'm pointing it out.
I have at my fingertips a redwood cone. Can you see it? About the size of a small olive. This little itty bitty thing is what is the start to what eventually becomes the world's tallest type of tree, these redwoods. But as these trees are constantly shedding their cones, a very low seed germination rate here in the redwood forest, maybe about a 10% chance a tree actually amounts from a seed. Main reason for that being, especially on this particular property, this part of the forest hasn't seen a natural fire in almost 150 years. That's 150 years worth of redwood duck and all the foliage piling up, these decaying leaves and logs, which are several feet thick in a lot of places. Anyway, this redwood duff is so thick, seedlings can't even have a chance to reach that soil to sprout. So it's too that is, until the next fire comes through, which does many beneficial uh, things no, in redwood no, forests. No one, no one, no Fires keep these you, forests you, healthy by tearing out any weak and diseased no trees, no, no, any invasive species. And finally, once the fire passes through, they can sprout from seeds, and all the nitrogen-rich soil, all the nitrogen from the ash, great fertilizer. Now back in the day, prior to the logging over 150 years ago, fires were pretty common every 20 or 30 years or so in the redwood forest. A good fire would wipe through the whole floor, keeping all the undergrowth free. The good thing Mother Nature has a really solid backup plan for these trees. Take notice of this big grove of redwoods on the left. A big group of mature trees in a nice circular pattern called fairy rings, cathedral groves. They notice a couple little small trees right next to the side of a mature redwood. And those are the babies sprouting right from the mother tree's root system. And about 90% of the time, redwoods propagate from their very own roots. Oh. Now the little baby next to its mother tree, that sapling, is a genetic copy. The exact same DNA, it's a clone. Oh. Another interesting thing about the roots is they live much longer than all these trees above the dirt. The redwood roots are the oldest known living organisms on the earth, surviving up to 10,000 years underground, while those roots just keep on reproducing from one generation to the next.
in the middle. Hold on, Leo, turn around. One, two, three, four. Pick up now.
perfect. Now your eye line, I'd say, is right at the forehead. Your eye line, I'd say, is right at the nose. Now, go ahead and switch places. We're going to see what happens here. Now let's take a look at those eye lines. You guys look straight ahead. Oh my gosh. You guys are now looking eye to eye. Mandy, you just got a lot taller. You had a growth spurt there. Congratulations. And you did shrink. I am so sorry. Do you want that height back? Just drink some milk, okay? Just give our volunteers a round of applause. All right, now I do want to give you a warning before we enter right here. Once we enter the courtyard and the cabin, you will feel the mysterious forces of the mystery spot pushing on you. You may feel a bit dizzy, maybe even a bit nauseous. Don't worry though, that does wear off within like two to three months. So, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Mystery spot. What's, what's so mysterious about the spot, Leo? <laughs> I hope I wonder if the aliens. Banana slugs. Hindi sa mga alien nga do lang alien banana slugs nga. They got a lot of banana slugs. Sana eh, sa, 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 sa apartment na puro bananas lag kaya kay doon. What? Anong apartment? Oh, nadulas na. Okay. Just one thing. Uh, Alright, we're gonna line up along the orange fences. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna make a U-shape along the fence line. U-shape. Ito na yung Mystery spot. Where the forces of the mystery spot are their strongest. 
Now I will show you all these forces with a very high-tech piece of equipment that I am hiding right back here. Now this is the most expensive and exciting thing we have here at the Mystery Spot. Which means when I bring this out, I will need every single one of you to give me your biggest and your most enthusiastic Now, I'm going to take this Dito ka, hantong mayroon ka dito. Tignan nga natin ko. Ang ikaw din. Really? Really? I feel dizzy. Really? Yeah. There's something I feel dizzy. Even here. Oh, Leo, come here. Yes, that is where it will be a slippery. 
Al, ya. But you're, you're doing it. You're on the 70 degree lean right now. Yeah. <laughs> If you want to fill up here, be careful with this little slip right there. All right. Now, welcome to the cabinet, everyone. I will show you guys the first thing in here. Now, the first thing I want to show you guys is this table. Now, if you stand. Can you come in? You still excuse us? I'll go out so you guys can come in. Okay. 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 Nice. <laughs> Just stay here. Now, these stairs right here go up and down the table. All right, now I will go into the next room, show you guys a few more things before I let you guys have your free time. All right, next thing we have is this pendulum. Now, when you push this pendulum, usually it goes this way easily in both directions. However, when you push this pendulum right here, It looks like Dr. Shu's house. Finally, back to Oh, yeah, Han. Stay, ano ka? Oh, then don't look at the half. Now, anyone five foot two? All right, let's show 
Half for two. Come on now. You're the same height as me then. Okay, All right, yeah. As you all see, we have just made some 18 T bars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, if it was realistic, there would only be one bar. So we're going to try and do that right now. Before we do that, though, you have to look to your right. The person next to you is taller than you. Gamitin mo yun na itong code para hindi ka ano Pakuli na tayo You okay? Yes Ito na naman yung energy Ito wala na Pero dito na Hindi, optical illusion na yun Optical illusion yan Kasi slide na ganun, tapos pinaganon nila Corb na ganun May paliwanag yan sa So wala talaga na Wala Ano na gano'n nila yan yung pagkakalay out nga yung angin merong ano yan yung parang akala mo apat na ano nag-slide mamaya makapakita ko sa'yo I'm not walking to the normal world but normal world yeah wala na ba tayo sa circle now we just have to go a bit down so as you see Oh, let's see. Excuse us. Hold on. Excuse us. Pardon me. Let's go. Slow down. Para hindi ka naman mag-easy. Excuse us. Excuse us. Okay. I'll stay here. There you go. You okay? I'll stay with me.
I had chills all over the time. Right now. Oh, no. That was like, I'd say a whole foot there. He didn't get picked. It was 12 feet minus that four inches. I went to art school. I can't do math very well, so I'm going to think eight inches. He got eight inches taller. Yeah, congratulations. NBA player in the making. <laughs> he just got eight inches shorter, though. I'm so sorry. I got some good news, though. They're always hiring at the Wonka factory. <laughs> Give our volunteers a big round of applause. All right, so what is going on here at the mystery spot? Do you guys want to know? Yes. We have like two yeses. You guys don't yes. want to know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah me too. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on here, guys. Yeah, we do call this the mystery spot, not the solved spot. However, we do have a couple theories. Now, the first theory we have is that thousands of feet underneath us is a pool of magma. This pool of magma is spinning in the direction it's opposite than the Earth's rotation. Now this creates a gravitational pull known as the gravitational vortex. Makes gravity shift ever so slightly just above that pool. Second theory we have. So there's actually a magnetic field underneath us. Now those forces we were feeling in the mid middle of the mystery spot is similar to when you try to put two positive magnets together and that force in between those two magnets. A lot of people think that it's caused by a magnetic field underneath us. Now third theory we have is that there's a fault line right underneath us. This fault line has been slowly seeping out. These mysterious gases. <laughs> These gases we've all been breathing in the last 45 minutes, creating a group hallucination. <laughs> yeah. Now, final piece for this theory, I will need you all to rub your hands Now, this fourth and final theory is that centuries ago, a UFO crash landed right here. And this UFO had aliens. These aliens See, I told still live here to this day. See, I told you, <laughs> Leo. My prediction is true. Are known as tour guides. <laughs> <laughs> These tour guides use mind control powers to make balls roll uphill, to make people say ooh and ah, oh, and to make them rub their hands together for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> you guys go. I have a surprise for you all in here. They're yellow. They're sticky. Can you guess what they are? Bananas not. No, it's bumper stickers. <laughs> <laughs> really when you did the eye to eye, so do you really became shorter? Are you sure? <laughs> all right. At first I was taller. Oh, now you're shorter? Yeah. Oh, tas magresum kay ni mom ha. Yeah. I think soon I'm going to be back to my normal. Baka, how did you get this? Are we back to the team, Dad?